time out simply we are going to make it as double time of this round trip time so why we are using this round trip time out see so as we seen that this is the round trip time okay this is the round trip time after eliminating all these delays only you have this propagation delay and this propagation delay and we are making this as two into round trip time means up to here we are this is we are taking as time out so this much doubling amount double amount we are waiting then if you don't get any acknowledgement you will give uh, you will retransmit the same packet so you have different situation uh, where time out will occur and then why you need to go for retransmit this point will be clear in the next sessions so time being time out is equal to 2 into round trip so if you see whatever we discussed till now all these are link to link basis means suppose this is r1 r2 r3 and destination and source is here whatever definitions we make form all these are link to link from here to here or from here to here or from here. but we are not considering from source to destination this is actually the time delay that we have to be take as a consideration so you have to find out round trip time to the end to end connection isn't it this is link to link so now from this end to this end how much time it is taking so for round trip time how much time it will take that we have to be derived here so <coughs> if you see here here it will take transmission delay so that transmission delay we have to take right transmission delay plus now after this one from here to here it have to propagate and from here to here leave about between these things from here to here from here to here and then from here to here from here to here so all together if you combine this we are taking as a propagation delay from here to this one so propagation delay plus then when packet is from here to here here you need some queuing delay is there and here some queuing delay some here queuing delay some queuing delay so that all together we are taking as a queuing delay so queuing delay queuing delay plus then after this whenever packet is reached here it need to be transmit 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 so that's why transmission delay so these are all the parameter so this is propagation delay queuing delay transmission delay only for one direction then after that you have to be give the acknowledgement okay so for that acknowledgement also this is same means this will be done in two time okay uh, i'm sorry this is see here this is propagation delay queuing delay transmission delay at each router okay so while coming back also this will take same amount of time so that's why we are considering it as two times it's not two times uh, this is this is delay at each router at this router how much propagation delay how much queuing delay how much transmission delay so this is one router this is one router total three routers will exist here so three routers delay we have to consider so in normal case we have the n number of routers so n routers 
delays we have to consider so at each router how much propagation delay then how much how much propagation delay how much queuing delay and then how much transmission delay so that we are considering here so this is at router 1 and the router 2 also the same delays is there router 3 also same delay is there so that's why more or less we are considering n routers is exist in between so n times this delay total delay then we have propagation delay uh, i'm sorry this is processing delay okay queuing delay plus processing delay inside the router then transmission delay queuing delay processing delay inside and then transmission delay queuing delay processing delay transmission delay so these three delays at each router three delays is there so like this we have the n number of routers n into this much time then as we discuss from here to here from here to here from here to here from here to here how much time it will take so that we are taking as a propagation delay this is end to end okay propagation delay end to end so hope you, it is clear now at each router these three or these three delays are there so like this we have the n routers and propagation delay from this end to this end this is only in one direction while coming the acknowledgement also you need to consider all these things so that's why it is two times okay two into n into this plus propagation delay plus transmission delay so this is trans round trip time in n to n basis okay so this is all together round trip time in link to link time out in link to link and then round trip time in n to n basis so same way time out also time out equal to 2 into round trip time this is n to n okay thank you